Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> just stop. Okay. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. If you have been here before, then welcome back. And if you have not been here, then welcome. So today it is kind of snowy and overcast and cold and Solomon and I had the day off. So we decided to come to Chattanooga and I think we're gonna go around and try to find the best, please stop. <laughs> We're gonna go around and try to find the best coffee in Chattanooga. So we're just gonna go to a bunch of different coffee shops, get black coffee, and figure out which one is the best. So first up, we have Mad Priest Coffee Roasters. I didn't film inside because it was very small and we were the only people in there. But the shop itself was pretty cute. Like I said, it was small, but it had a cool vibe. There was a lot of world maps and like some globes and stuff like that, so that was cool. And we got two drip coffees, the Dark Knight blend and the Columbia blend. I felt like the Columbia I preferred a little bit better because the Dark Knight had some fruity notes almost, and I'm not a huge fan of fruity blends, so both were really good. They were both very smooth, and they were both dark roast, I think, so I enjoyed them. And it was $2.50 for a small, so pretty good price. Pretty cool little spot, not too crowded or anything. It was just probably not somewhere you would want to camp out for the day because it was small. There weren't a lot of like seating options. But if you're just picking up um, some coffee to go, that is a good option. There's like street parking right out front, so it's really easy to get in and out of. Yeah, that's true. It's not super busy, so it has good coffee. So you just like stop by, grab a cup of coffee. Yeah. It's pretty quick. So we just hit Cadence Coffee and it was much harder to find parking. There was pretty much only paid parking, which was annoying, um, but it was much bigger inside. There were more seating options. They also had chess, which was really fun. So we played a game, sadly Solomon won, but we will rematch at home because we, every, every time she interrupts me. The coffee to me was a little less flavorful than the first place Bad Priest uh, Coffee Roasters. Um, we got a medium and a dark roast. The medium I wasn't a huge fan of, it just wasn't super flavorful. The dark roast was more flavorful, but I still think I prefer the Columbia blend from Bad Priest so far. We went to Goodman Coffee, which was in a like mall, indoor mall thing, kind of like Pont City Market if you've ever been there. Um, but they had probably the best atmosphere so far. It was a really chill little spot. And because we were drinking the coffee there, it came in a mug instead of like a paper cup, which was a nice touch. Um, again, the coffee was not super flavorful to me. It was good. Um, but there wasn't any info on like if it was a dark roast, if it was a medium roast, it didn't have any like notes or anything. So it was good. It was probably comparable to the dark roast from Caden's Coffee um, in my opinion. But the shop itself was really cool. So if you're like from out of town or you want a cool place to drink coffee, I would say that would be the place to go. <laughs> So we just stopped by Stone Cup Cafe and I think so far that was the best coffee shop all around because the atmosphere was cool. It was kind of like a hidden gem because it's on Walnut Street which is one of the most popular um, areas because it's right next to the bridge that you can walk across. But it wasn't super crowded. It had two stories. There was plenty of seating. Um, it was super chill inside. It had a really good view and the coffee was really good. So 
it's a strong contender so far, but we'll have to reevaluate after we go to our last spot. <laughs> a couple days later and we are back in Atlanta and let me tell you drinking five plus cups of coffee of black coffee in a day was not the most fun we didn't feel so great by the end of the day but I still had a lot of fun going around to different places in Chattanooga and we are here now to decide what is the best coffee shop in Chattanooga the ones that we visited were Bad Priest Coffee, Cadence Coffee, Goodman Coffee, Stone Cup Cafe, and Mean Mug Coffee House. So we basically came up with five different categories that we rated all of these coffee shops on, and that was atmosphere, so how the place was decorated, how it felt on the inside, uh, parking, how accessible it was, how easy it was to get to, the location itself, whether it was downtown or out of the city, um, what kind of area it was in, things like that the actual coffee, so the quality of the coffee, how it tasted, things like that, and then finally space slash seating, so whether there was a lot of space or not a lot, that's also something we took into consideration. The first place we visited was Bad Priest Coffee, and we actually didn't go, there are two locations, we went to one of them, and we didn't realize that there was even a second location, so we did not go to the downtown location, I'll put which one we went to somewhere in here, um, but this location, um, for atmosphere, we gave it a four out of five because on the inside it had a really cool vibe it was just very focused on international travel and things like that which I really liked for parking we gave it a five out of five because it had a uh, it had its own parking lot that was right next to the shops so that was super convenient for location, we gave it a 3 out of 5, just because it was a little bit out of downtown. Of course, the downtown location is in downtown, so that one probably would have gotten higher marks. We didn't know about that one um, until after we had visited this location. And then for coffee quality, 4.5 out of 5. It was really good coffee, really flavorful. I really liked it there. And then for space slash seating, we did give it a 2 out of 5 because this shop that we went to was really small. There was like three seats and that was pretty much it. So the location we went to would definitely be more of a like pick up your coffee and go kind of thing. Um, so altogether, we gave Bad Priest an 18.5 out of a possible 25 points. Next up was Cadence Coffee. So this one for atmosphere, we gave it a 4 out of 5. Uh, Solomon wanted to give it extra points because it had a chess set, which we really enjoyed. We did play a game of chess, so that was fun. For parking, we gave it a 2 out of 5 because there was a lot of parking, but it was all street parking and it was paid parking, so that was a little inconvenient if you you know, just don't want to pay for parking, which we try to avoid as much as possible. For location, we gave it a 3 out of 5. It was closer to downtown, but it was almost in like the business or government um, area of downtown, so it was right near a bunch of government buildings, so location was okay. It was close to downtown, but it was just a little bit odd. It felt a little out of place. And for coffee quality, we gave it a 3 out of 5. It, to me, wasn't as flavorful as the coffee from Bad Priest. It was still good. Um, we definitely preferred the dark roast over the medium roast because we tried both, but it just, it was good. It was definitely above average, but it wasn't great. And then for space slash seating, we gave it a 4 out of 5 because it was a pretty big space. There was a lot of seating. It definitely seemed like somewhere where you could go and study for a couple hours. It was pretty low key. The interior design was a little lackluster. It was pretty bare bones, pretty low key, which is nice. Like that's not bad at all. It just wasn't as like distinctive as some of the other places we went to, I would say. So for Cadence, altogether Cadence got a 16 out of 25. So for Goodman Coffee, for Atmosphere, we gave it a 5 out of 5 because this shop was really cool. I really liked how it felt on the inside. It felt really intimate. There was like low lighting, which was cool. There were some leather couches and things, so it was very cozy, which I really liked. For parking, we gave it a 2 out of 5. Again, there was parking, but it was a lot of paid parking, and it was kind of in this mall setup, so I think either way you would have had to pay for parking, so that kind of lost some points for us there. For location, we gave it a 5 out of out of five because like we said it was located in the mall so this would be a really great option if you're from out of town and you want to get some coffee and then do some shopping you can 
super easily do that so that's really appealing for coffee quality we gave it a four and a half out of five and we gave it an extra half point because it did come in an actual mug which was really nice i always feel like when you're at a place and they give you an actual mug as opposed to a paper um cup that that kind of makes it just a little cozier it makes it feel like a little more homegrown and things like that so we really like that and then the coffee itself did taste really good. And then for space slash seating, we gave it a three out of five. It was a little bit of a smaller space, but they still had a good amount of seating. So I could see it being really popular and crowded on the weekends, but because we went kind of in the middle of the week, it wasn't super bad. So that's just something to keep in mind. So altogether, Goodman got an 18 and a half out of five, which is the same as Bad Priest so far. The fourth place that we went to was Stone Cup Cafe. So for atmosphere, we gave it a 4 out of 5. I liked this coffee shop because it felt very low-key. It felt very unpretentious. It wasn't trying too hard. It just felt really like casual and laid back, which was really nice. And the space itself was just really cool. It was like a two-story coffee house. So that was nice. For parking, we gave it a 4 out of 5. It was right downtown, so there is paid parking, but we know of a little side street kind of back in a neighborhood where you can park and you don't have to pay. And it's like... A couple hundred feet to walk down to the coffee shop so if you know where that is that's a good option because then you don't have to pay but it's still really close for parking for location five out of five it was right on walnut street bridge like literally right next to it so this would be a really great spot to uh, walk down the bridge and then come in and warm up with a cup of coffee or grab a cup of coffee and drink it as you're walking down the bridge that's a really cool spot for coffee quality we also gave it a four and a half out of five because again they gave it to us in an actual mug which was really nice and Solomon said that he thought this coffee was comparable to or even better than Bad Priest. I still think Bad Priest was just a little bit better, but I did think that Stone Cup Cafe had really good coffee, so that was awesome. And then for space slash seating, five out of five. As I mentioned, it was two stories. There was tons of seating. There was outdoor seating. So that was really good to see because I have a feeling that you would almost always be able to find seating and you could actually go upstairs if you wanted it to be a little quieter. So you had options on like what kind of vibe you wanted. So for Stone Cup Cafe, it got 22 and a half out of 25. So that's the leader. And then finally we went to Mean Mug Coffee House. And again, there are multiple locations. We went to one right next to the Whole Foods. And again, I'll specify where that is. But for Mean Mug, for atmosphere, we gave it a five out of five. I thought that the interior design was really cool. It was kind of like retro, um, kind of new wave, which I like to see. So it was really cool on the inside. I liked all of their light fixtures and their seating, which was really nice. Parking, five out of five, because it had its own really big parking lot. So super convenient. It was shared with a bunch of other shops and the Whole Foods across the street. So there's tons of options there and it was all free, which was good to have. For location, we gave it a three and a half out of five. Um, again, it was near a lot of shops, which is really convenient if you want to grab some coffee and then go around and check out some different spots. But it was a little ways outside of the city, so that is something to keep in mind depending on where you're staying and where you want to go. Coffee quality, we gave it a three and a half out of five. Um, the coffee was good. It wasn't remarkable. They did give it to us in a like actual mug, which was nice to see. And we did get a cookie with our coffee, which was really yummy, but we're not grading it on cookies. We're grading it on coffee. So the coffee was good. Again, it was above average, but it wasn't anything like super noteworthy in my opinion. For space slash seating, we gave it a four out of five because it was a pretty big space, but seating, it was set up a little weird. It was just kind of one long room and it was super crowded when we got there. I have a feeling that this is a really popular coffee shop. So we did have to kind of wait for seating to find a spot. So um, because it's so popular, space was a little limited, but they did a good job of putting in as much seating as they could with the space that they had. So altogether, Mean Mug got 21 out of 25. Our number one choice for the best coffee shop in Chattanooga ended up being Stone Cup Cafe. Second place was Mean Mug Coffee House. Goodman Coffee and Bad Priest Coffee tied for third, and then Cadence Coffee came in last. And that's not to say that the lower ranking places were worse, because honestly, all of them were really fun. They all had good coffee. The spaces were all unique in their own ways. So I think going to any of them would be a really good option, and you'd find something that you like at each of them. 
but for us, we felt like uh, Stone Cup Cafe just had the best of both worlds. It had great coffee, great atmosphere, great location, super easy to get to, so I think that's why we chose it as our number one coffee shop in Chattanooga. We had a ton of fun going around Chattanooga and trying all these coffee shops. It was a rainy, cold day, so this was a really great way for us to get out of the house and go to a city that we love while still like staying warm and cozy and having some coffee along the way. I think that visiting coffee shops is a really great way to experience whatever city you're in because it really tells you a lot about the local community and the culture and I think that Chattanooga has a lot of really awesome coffee shops for you to check out. So I would definitely recommend that you go to one that we visited. If you know of other places that you think we should reconsider or check out then please let me know because we always try to go to Chattanooga a couple times a year so maybe next time we'll go we will check out some other spots but yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys had fun coming along with us and I will see you guys next time